Okay, so we are on the public test server, and uh, the reason I want to talk about this is because on the public test server, we've got the two variants of the Tier 10 British Battlecruiser. Now, um, is it St. Lawrence that's the base? I think St. Lawrence is the base, and then St. Vincent is the modification. Let me just double check on the dev blog. View with Facebook? No, thank you. Okay, yes. St. Vincent is the default tier 10. So St. Vincent, okay, so I've got to talk uh, about this. So St. Vincent is the tier 10 British battlecruiser, and then St. Lawrence is a different play style of the, the St. Vincent. So let's take a look at the St. Vincent. So uh, let's see, do we have a British background? Or maybe the British one is not ready yet. That could be a problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Dunkirk. Dunkirk's fine. <laughs> okay, so St. Vincent. This is the armor layout for St. Vincent. It has a very soft 25mm nose. Holy crap, is that a soft nose. There is not a single bit of extra armor on the nose of the ship instantly makes these guys a huge huge weak uh ship to class to other battleships that's that's going to be really tough 32 millimeters on the side 40 on the deck same situation in the rear you know not really yeah let's see So yeah, same situation in the rear. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at what it uh, looks like on the inside. Okay, so there's extra turtleback armor around the Citadel, similar to a German. And it looks like it is a waterline, so if you were to Citadel this ship. Yeah, you know, in a bowing position, you could totally make that shot. 25 here, and then another... 305 there. Yeah, that would be really easy. Oof. Mm. All right, so that's the armor. Not impressed with the armor at all. Uh, the hit points of the Vincent. And this is the long range variant with high accuracy. Is 79,400. 14% torpedo protection. None. Uh, the main battery is 9 uh, four, 457. So it does have 30 millimeter overmatch. So funny enough, if it were to face itself, it could easily just shoot itself in the nose and overmatch all of this as if it's not even there. It can't overmatch the 32 or the 40, but if it gets a broadside, easy. And, you know, 40, eh, probably not going to ever be an easy shot. Uh, because this is the long-range variant, the secondaries are not going to be that impressive on range, and it does look like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play that like this. Honestly, I think that long-range is going to be the variant that's going to win out, because the 25 nose is just way too weak. Way, way, way too weak. What? Where is this torpedo? Um, do we have in-hull torpedoes on this? Wait, 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 wait. Where is the naval base? There we go. We need to see this hull. Oh, we do! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow, that's cool! Is this the first variant? 
where they've had torpedoes in the hull. So yeah, you just point this towards your target and you torpedo. It's got 10 kilometer range on these. They do 21,000 damage. Yeah, if uh, if you were to like charge in, that would be pretty pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's basically a bonus, you know, it's not really taking away from anything. Uh, but these guns have 212 maximum dispersion. Very nice. That's that uh, battle cruiser dispersion. 30 second reload. It's it's not fast, it's not slow. It has a 30 second turret traverse, so no issue with the turret traversal. Secondaries don't have much penetration. If I were to get IFHE, I don't think that I could really cross any meaningful threshold and I would drop a lot of fire percentage. I wouldn't end up playing this in uh, short range. This is the uh, long range variant, by the way. Airstrike, it's got three charges. That's the British thing. Oh, whoa, Maltese. Welcome everyone who's been enjoying Maltese. <laughs> Thank you guys. We're taking a look at the public test server. And I'm talking about the long range variant of the British battleship, the tier 10 versus the close range. And uh, yep, yep. It's nice to have you guys here. Okay, so as far as AA is concerned, Uh, one thing that I notice isn't there an asymmetrical AA layout here? Yeah, yeah, on the front here. I don't know why that is. But you can see the asymmetrical nature of this. I don't think that this could fit here because there's not enough space here. Yeah, this is going to be a battle cruiser for the Brits. Uh, there's just two st styles of battle cruising that they're going with. A defense, it's pretty strong, honestly. It's got medium range continuous. It's 697, which turns on at uh, 3.5. That's good. And then uh, it's long range AA, pretty weak. It's got five flak bursts though. So that's kind of the long range. And it doesn't look like there is any short range. So it just has continuous all the way down. Okay. This is the tier 10 tech tree ship, Axel. Maneuverability, base speed, 32.5 knots. Turning radius is 970 meters. Rudder shift is an outstanding 17. That's pretty good. Very nice. What, a, what an ugly duckling, though, isn't this? <laughs> what an ugly ship. Uh, and then we have detectability base of 16.3. Air detection, 11.1. All right, maximum gun range, 19.5. So they chose to make the the long range accurate battleship, the short range gun. Is there aircraft equipment? No, there's an, oh, it, it also comes with defensive AA. Well, that'll make it really nice for defense. Yeah, Vincent's gonna be the, the official name. Lawrence is just another test case. All right, so let's take a look at the, the, the differences. So survivability is the same. Armor layout, same. Okay, yeah, no, no changes there. Uh, the artillery is definitely different. So the artillery for the close range is 25 second base reload it has the same 30 second turret traverse its dispersion is 229 that's not that much worse like it's very close in fact to the 212 it does get 21.5 kilometer base range versus the 19.5 of the more accurate battleship honestly two more kilometers yeah, I, I think two more kilometers would be nice. Uh, there is no extra secondary gun range. There's no extra secondary penetration. It is the same 7.3 kilometer range. 
Uh, yeah, shell velocity, a high explosive. This is not a high explosive British battleship. This is more armor piercing. You would really only use the... Oh, and that is the... So Lawrence gets the extra penetration. Okay. So same gun velocity with high explosive and armor piercing. Uh, but the long range British battle cruiser does not get the one fourth high explosive pin. So it only gets 76 base. Whereas the accurate, uh, the less accurate close to medium range, man, this is weird to me because, well, it does have 2.21.5 kilometer range. Wouldn't that mean that it has basically the same gun accuracy? There must be like a hidden sigma ratio here because it does look like they have basically the same gun accuracy. Here, let's let's equip Vincent with gun range just to see how much it would change. 22, 238. Yeah, it does look like it has comparable. It doesn't fire as fast. So five seconds, the Vincent one. We'll take to reload. It has better concealment base than the Lawrence variant. Both of them have the torpedoes. Oh, whoa. What is this? <laughs> okay. So on the St. Lawrence variant, it has only four kilometer range torpedoes. So pretty much useless. Wow. What's the reload time of the Vincent? That's like, whoa, it has faster reload time. What? Why four kilometers? That seems really bad. That seems like I would have to be within four kilometers for it to ever be useful, which means I don't want to be four kilometers. I have 25 millimeters on my bow. That seems suicidal. Uh, yeah, the reason why we are in this uh, dockyard is because you can see the torpedoes right here. They're equipped to the hull of the ship. So wherever the ship is facing, basically, they can send torpedoes. So it, it's, it's weird to me that the Lawrence variant has only four kilometer range forward facing torpedoes. Like that's, that's really, really silly. That should mean that there's no excuse for using these torpedoes before you absolutely need them. But it also means that they're pretty much useless 99% of the time. I don't like that. If, if it comes with the equipment, I would like it to be somewhat usable. I think four is just too shallow, but it seems that they do the same damage too. 21,000. So yeah, the, the torpedoes do, yeah, basically the same amount of damage. Uh, do they move faster? No, they, they move the same speed. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. that that's, a, that's a weird, weird change between the two. A defense on Vincent. Uh, we've already looked at that. Is the Lawrence the same? Yes. Okay, so they have the same hull defense, so medium range is really good. It does have fla uh, five flak bursts. So that's usable. Uh, maneuverability, same speed, same turning radius, same rudder shift. And then for concealment, we've got like 1.5, yeah, 1.5 kilometer worse detection on the longer range. So it has longer range guns with comparable accuracy. It doesn't really look like the accuracy has changed that much. But it basically has torpedoes that are not usable, save for the ram. To purely guarantee that you'll never lose the ram. I guess there's value in that. I just don't know that I think that that's very valuable. I would hazard to guess that Lawrence must be the long range one, right? Because it does have 21.5 kilometer. The dispersion of the guns is actually... But it has faster reload. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why does it have faster reload if it's the longer range variant? It's got high explosive penetration, but I guess it doesn't have any torpedoes yet. Hmm. So the close to medium range Vincent has torpedoes that it can incorporate into its play. 
It does give up a little bit of gun range. It has basically the same gun accuracy. Worse reload by, what, five seconds? So over the course of a battle, I mean, five seconds is significant for sure. The extra high explosive penetration is pretty nice. Not that that's something that you're going to end up using too much because the Brits are more about AP on the, the battlecruiser line. But it'll be much harder for you to stay stealth with this. So between the two, I would probably say that I would lean towards the other design. Give up a little bit of gun range for better concealment. Uh, let's take a look at the equipment that I can equip. And with concealment, oh, by the way, the UI looks like it's changed slightly. So they could go with engine boost. Ah, I think that we're going to have to be, well, you know, how long does it last? Eight. It lasts two minutes. Hmm. I'm really worried about the 25 millimeter bow. I don't think that it's going to be viable to play this ship with anything other than active dodging characteristics. Uh, 25 is just so easy to punish for literally every battleship you'll ever face. Uh, regular heal? No, it's a super heal uh, on the Vincent. It's a regular heal on the Lawrence. So the Lawrence is the long range specialist with. Okay, so it seemed. Well, what? Okay, uh, why would I choose St. Lawrence with worse concealment than like a Thunderer? Don't they have the same type of guns? But the Thunder has 32 millimeter bow. It has, it doesn't have speed boost, but it does have defensive AA. It doesn't have the torpedoes in the hull, but let's be real, St. Lawrence basically doesn't have torpedoes in the hull because of the way it's designed. Huh. So, super, what? Oh, that's a weird build. 13.2 concealment. Okay. Let me equip a flag to this as well. So 12.8 is the absolute maximum concealment that the ship can have. Twelve point eight, thirty second. Oh yeah, okay, so we can go for a rate of fire on this. Twenty-six point four. One ninety-seven. Hmm, okay. Pretty pretty accurate guns. That's nice. Okay, so St. Lawrence, let's see. Definitely looks like the UI is different. They must have changed. Oh, it doesn't have the British acceleration baked in like the Vincent. Hmm. How fast can we make the guns reload? 22 seconds? Hmm. That's pretty good. For accurate ship. I just worry that the accuracy of the ship is still, yeah, 14-4. That's not really impressive. So 14 kilometer detection with a 21.5 kilometer range of guns. This one ends up using the British heel, not the super heel. 
Mm. Accuracy is pretty comparable. Gun reload is a little bit better. The concealment is a lot better on Vincent. 12.8 versus 14 is a big improvement. What's the AA gun range? Yeah, 9 versus 9.8. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, it's weird to me. So uh, if I look at the St. Vincent, obviously shorter guns, same. they have the same accuracy. They just don't have the same gun range. Uh, but it has better concealment. And it also has better torpedo systems. So... Better main gun accuracy, better concealment, better torpedoes. It has worse high explosive penetration, but I don't really care about that. I really like the 12A. That's really nice. That's going to help you drop off, uh, whereas 14 is going to be much harder to drop off. So it's easier to punish the 25 millimeter, obviously, if you're detected for longer. Yeah, it's really weird to me. For for me, I think that the St. Vincent is the superior design to the St. Lawrence. I'm not really seeing like the huge difference between the two, other than the torpedoes and the gun range and the concealment. Those are the three things that strike me as odd omissions or odd... Um, weak traits of the ship for seemingly nothing unique in return. Chat would obviously have to answer. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. What's the Sigma? Do you guys know off the top of your head what the Sigma of these two would be? Here, I'm looking at the fitting room right now. Ship comparison. It's a British battle attest ship. Nope. It's not even on this, so I can't tell you. Hmm. Well, based on everything that I see between the two, I'm not allowed to play them. Vincent seems like the way to go. If the Sigma isn't just horrendous, then this is the way to go. If it has such a huge weak point in its Sigma compared to Lawrence, then it would be hard for me to recommend it. Because to me, what uh, Vincent is trying to do, it's trying to be sort of a stealthy battle cruiser and have that 30 millimeter overmatch. Vincent has 1.5 and Lawrence has 2.0. Jeez. Wow. Okay. And that's a huge discrepancy between the two. Hmm. Well, okay. So, because of that, man. It's clear to me that they might envision Vincent using the... But here's the thing. You can't use the 10-kilometer range torpedoes on the Vincent most of the time anyway because you'll be uh, in vision. You would have to use some type of island, and then you just have to rely on it. Yeah, 1.5 Sigma is not good, which apparently Vincent has 1.5 Sigma. So it has 197 maximum dispersion. 26.4 second reload. 19.5 kilometer. So, Lawrence gets way better gun accuracy. Just, yeah, way better gun accuracy. So, the, the guns on the Lawrence are very, very strong. So, St. Vincent is going to be the Tier 10 British Battlecruiser hull. And they are testing two styles of play. This will ultimately make up the entire line. So that's why we're talking about this. St. Vincent is a close to medium range battle cruiser. St. Lawrence is a long range specialist in comparison. Uh, so the advantages of St. Vincent, longer range torpedoes. Better, wow, now it doesn't even have better rate of fire. Oh. So, longer range torpedoes, better concealment. It basically has the same dispersion. So, the only difference between the two 
is 1.5 kilometer concealment and 10 kilometer range torpedoes versus 4 kilometer range torpedoes. Yeah, 1.5. Well, the thing is, one thing that I will say, 1.5 is not as bad with 197 meter dispersion as it would be with like 262. You know, so 197, because it's a battle cruiser, it gets the battle cruiser dispersion calculation, just as the German battle cruiser line, which is a benefit. But still, having 1.5 means that more often than not, it's going to go to the edges more than Lawrence would ever have that. So it's not going to be that. It's not going to be fun at all. And it only has nine guns, so you'll feel the Sigma more so. Yeah, I think what will happen is Vincent will be maybe a premium design. Yeah, it has comparable range. It has comparable... Um, oh, we can, we can look at um, Columbo. That's, that's good. Uh, let's do that. Columbo. There we go. Columbo has 16. Yeah, nearly the same. Its dispersion is 234. It's got five, seven extra guns. Yeah, seven extra guns. And it has about 1.5. Mm, man. I don't know about that, Vincent. That seems really harsh, 1.5. Just so you can have 10 kilometer range torpedoes, I don't think it's worth that. I think getting the 10 kilometer range torpedoes and the 1.2 kilometer detection, it's just, it's not worth giving up that much. Because you have to get close anyway. So it kind of means to me that the way they want St. Vincent, the close to medium, they want you to play at or around 12.8 kilometers from your, your prior era target. If you play at that range, you'll have a higher probability of obviously hitting with the 1.5 Sigma, but you would still need to cover two kilometers and change worth of distance. Uh, by the way, thank you for that, Glenn. Thank you for that, Tim. Uh, you would still have to cover two kilometer range and change to use these torpedoes. So honestly, it's still not valuable there. And the closer you get to the target, the easier it is for them to hit the 25. So you don't really want to do that against a battleship. Because that immediately gives the advantage to any battleship that you play against. Yeah, uh, these torpedoes seem kind of useless on both variants, if I'm being completely honest. So if at the end of the day, we're just looking at the difference between 12.8 kilometer concealment and 14 kilometer range concealment. I think that it's worth it to have 14 to have that 2.0 Sigma. I don't know that 1.5 is good enough. They might need to buff it if they were to. Uh, DK Huff, thank you for that. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so... Hmm. Well, 1.5 Sigma is not going to work out at the maximum range. So you're going to have to be closer to this number. Whereas Lawrence, Lawrence can really operate anywhere from 14 to 21. And I think that, honestly, the armor layout of Lawrence makes more sense with a 14 to 21. There isn't any equipment that can extend the gun range. So, another weakness of the Vincent, it won't have any way to get a little extra distance to try and deal with a target. It'll just be at a disadvantage there. Um, whereas this just sort of has a baked-in base. And it has faster reload. Hmm. So this could be a really accurate 30 millimeter overmatch that has a more traditional layout compared to that of a Republic. So why? Well, yeah, what's what's Republic? Let's let's look at Republic. That's the other one that seems to have some overlap in design. Where are you, Republic? Republic, Republic. Okay, so Republic's eight guns has a base rated... Oh, God, the dispersion's horrible. But again, that is a 26.1 kilometer range. 
has way better gun velocity. So that is something too. Republic will be much more capable of operating near or maximum range. Whereas that gun velocity that is on Vincent is also going to be the same gun velocity that Lawrence works with, which is uh, 757. Not that that's something that you can't use. Uh, I think that there's a huge advantage in the American um, low gun velocity. And I think that that works in favor of the Brits because the reason why they've chosen this is they've made the Brits and the Americans sort of low gun velocity guns like they would in real life uh, because they have to, they can't go to a port that could easily repair them. Sometimes they're so far away from a home port that it's going to take them months to sail back. So in their mind, they wanted to preserve the guns, uh, whereas the Italians and the Germans, completely different mindset. Their mindset was, we just wanted to get the most bang for our buck. And because we're operating close to our ports, that's not a big deal. So in the game, they've sort of created the, the gun velocity divide to communicate this difference of... Uh, strategy with guns so the brits are going to be able to pretty stealthily get close with really good uh 30 millimeter overmatch and pretty much pop a lot of cruisers hmm and pretty high rate of fire too 22 seconds is nothing to slouch out honestly yeah i think that lawrence to me looks like it has the superior game design to Vincent. I appreciate the torpedoes on Vincent. They just won't be used as frequently as you would hope because it's obviously a battle cruiser, not, not a cruiser with good concealment or anything like that. The gun velocity is completely different, so Republic wants to be closer to its um, gun range, getting uh, you know, a nice flat trajectory and take advantage of that. Whereas, you know, St. Lawrence would love to be closer to 14 and just active dodge as frequently as they can. Uh, St. Lawrence doesn't get the acceleration baked in. That is a disadvantage for turning and uh, maneuvering. Hmm. Ah, that's Sigma. That's the biggest, that's the biggest wild card between these two. St. Vincent, 12.8. British Acceleration Baked In could easily have really good games because of it getting close and ambushing and then having the ability to maneuver and active dodge and all that stuff. But Lawrence has more consistent gun design to the overall design of the game. It also gets the extra um, HE penetration rate. Yeah, it gets the extra HE penetration. So it's it's pretty much a, a continuation, if you will, of like the Thunder Room. It just doesn't get the overpowered armor with the accuracy and all that stuff. I think the heal is fine. I don't see that it being too much of a weakness because, yeah, the super heal is really nice on the Vincent. But it has to stay close, a lot closer. It just has to stay a lot closer. So that 25 millimeter is, is a very big weak point. Very, very big. Like, I can't stress to you how big 25 is. It, it pretty much means that even if you're... Well, yeah, St. Vincent, for example. Every single battleship that St. Vincent would play against can easily overmatch its nose. With AP. To straight shoot at this nose and you'll overmatch it. So, of course, bow and position will never work ever in this design. Just won't. It just, no, there's no way. So, it has to be actively maneuvering. It has to stay at range. It has to be angled. And it can't ever be in bow. Yeah, I think that it needs to be St. Lawrence. I think that Vincent, I just don't think that Vincent's design is going to work. It's going to be too easy to punish. I already feel like the uh, French cruisers are too easy to punish. 